Hello and welcome back to Luxury Utopia in Oxygen Not Included. My name is Reiner and in today's video we're going to continue building our base. Um, in the last episode we added some automation to our Draco base so all the eggs should now land here. I hope we're gonna get some glossy Dracos, uh, Dracos this time. It's taking quite a bit of time, 16, 2, they need to eat more. Wait, atmosphere, why? Maybe because I still, yeah, I still have to unpause, that's the problem. This one is incubating, let's just give it a little bit of a bump. Um, but yeah, we made this uh, this room here where we can store, well, at least so as many dracolets, uh, dracolets as I want. Um, and they will also uh, all be sheared and automatically the stuff from there will be moved to here. So that's already good. A lot of automation there. Um, luckily Bubbles got the mechatronics engineer role so we can do a lot of automation stuff now. And also what we did, what of course the big part of the video was, we dug out this whole slime biome and stored it all in this tile. So we have 19.4 tons of slime here, which is of course well, 87 million germs, uh, how we hear. But this here, yeah, this decreases in the amount of germs very quickly. We have a couple of germs here, but this is all oxygen, so this germ should die pretty quickly. Current disease, does it say? Change rate minus 3 per second. Yeah, we in 1.4 seconds, uh, these halve every time. 29% dead per cycle. So it should not be a big issue. The germs should be gone fairly quickly. Um, in today's episode, of course, we have a new thing to do. As you can see here, we're running a little bit out of water, which we use, one, to cool this draglet base, and two, also to cool our oxygen. So we're going to go to a more sustainable source of water. And that's, of course, these geysers that we have. We have two. We have this cool slush geyser, which uh, produces uh, polluted water. And this one is a cool salt slush geyser, which produces uh, brine. Both of them come out at minus 10 degrees. So if we want to cool stuff, that's very good. Uh, and we're definitely going to use it for that as well. But first, we have to encase those geysers, and I'm gonna set up everything that's necessary. Let me immediately make this a seven. So we're going to be building some stuff first of all. Uh, let me see, we need three spaces and then up. And then the other side, I also want to go up, and I guess we can already do, well, like, like this is okay, I guess. Cancel that one. Then we get plumbing liquid pump copper ore is okay nothing is gonna overheat uh, it's just gonna be very cool instead and then we need a little bit of automation here which is a hydro sensor which we're gonna put here now i don't know if i want to add a buffer gate um, i guess it's not really necessary because if we wait until there's enough water here, this will always pump a full package anyway. So we're not losing any efficiency in our pump. So we're just going to connect this like that. And then we need power, of course. Also, we're going to make conductive wire in this piece. But the rest I'm going to actually make um, just normal pipe uh, or normal cable, normal wire. And then we also need a liquid pipe. Let's make it insulated uh, out of uh, igneous rock is okay. Also to about there. This is still as a five, I guess. Let's do it like that. And also I want to analyze these. So let's make this as nine. So once we can get in here, Devon should start analyzing that. So we have Conductive wire, let's bring it to there. Uh, the rest of the cable is just gonna be this wire. So let's just bring it over. Very simple for now, because I don't have that much 
power requests uh, and then the insulated liquid pipe we're gonna keep it insulated i guess and then we're gonna go in here somewhere where we're gonna set up some liquid reservoirs but um in my opinion yeah this this all can wait a little bit let's leave that as a five I want to do this encasing first that's the most important part and then can this can slowly fill and after that we can look at the rest at the same time we're also going to look at the other side uh, so we're gonna make also insulate tiles here I guess we're going to this side up there and also up there basically same thing we're gonna put a liquid pump in here right there and then also some automation which is a hydro sensor right there automation wire like that and that's already that uh, but of course we need to also dig out some stuff first to get there um, i guess we're going to this height approximately this should be fine And then we need to get in here, which I am going to do with a little bit of a step up. And I'm actually going to replace this already with a insulated tile. But yeah, this is going to be the second piece to dig through. And then with a seven build all this, and then this can be a nine to analyze. So that's enough tasks Let, let's let them work a bit i'll zoom out so we can see both sides and i'll speed this part up a bit Alright, this side is now pretty much uh, in okay spot. We have some ice here which I want to sweep up. It will go in here, right? It should go in there. That's fine. And then we start working on this side. Let's also make some pipes here. Uh, plumbing, insulated pipes. And we're just gonna bring those over like. So I guess it doesn't really matter. This is just gonna be temporary this last piece and then power conductive wire for the first part like that and then the rest we're just gonna make simple wire no need to make this complicated and this can be all a five indeed so we're first gonna work on uh, the stuff inside actually the stuff inside needs to be a six so all of this ish should be a six in uh, this case the geyser is already over pressured so there's nothing else in there here we need to still fill this up so that we get rid of all of the uh, polluted oxygen in here but yeah this is a pretty decent startup uh, we can also start with setting up some liquid reservoirs which we're going to be using to store everything uh, so let me put up a couple of these it can be as a five Let's make six for the polluted oxygen. Uh, polluted oxygen. Wait, maybe five is okay. And then also a couple for the brine. Actually, we're gonna make quite a few of them. And this can go. Deconstruct and deconstruct. So increase the priority on those. And then mesh tiles underneath to make sure. They have a floor so let's make more we definitely need more of this the 
this is already started analysis this one is done analysis active period 102 cycles every 153 so two-thirds of the time is it's active and it's erupting quite long actually every time it's not a bad vent so we have some data banks we have some ice the ice needs to get out of there as well uh, it will not melt but uh, I preferably have pure polluted liquid in there polluted water okay this is also being constructed now let's see we have brine ice and granite here ice granite just make sure to sweep up everything that doesn't belong in here Brian ice, Brian ice. The rest is okay. And we actually on this side can already start with. Oh, it's actually uh, going. We can close it off until here. As for the hydro sensors, we're going to set this to above 400 ish. Same for the other side. If it's above 400, above. Then I want to have a green signal and then the liquid pump can start running. This one active period about 50 every 76 cycles is also two thirds of the time. Eruption period about half of the time. So not bad. And actually this side we can already close off after we get the data banks out of there. We got everything out. Then let's close that one off. This is 650 and we need to get it to the second layer. What I also want to do is we have now this automatic dispenser, which means that we cannot set this to not sweep only, which means that we have to sweep all the oxalite and bleachstone before they pick it up, which of course is not very practical. So I messed up there a little bit. What we're going to do is put in to storage bins and then work with that instead. I'm gonna make them both for both resources, I guess. I am looking actually for a duplicate that we can send to the second planetoid via the teleporter. Sending uh, one of our current duplicates is probably not the best idea. 800, we're almost going to the second level. This one is closed off now, perfect. So once this is done, and I guess this also can be a six, And then we make one of these uh, liquid reservoirs a six. Then we can start pumping in some stuff. All right. These boxes are also done. So let's put in the consumable or bleachstone and oxalite and copy that to the other side. Uh, so now if we get some of this, we're going to make this as an eight because they do off gas. And it's a shame if they do. Then they will be brought here rather quickly. So that's perfect. One of the draglets, this one just laid an egg and it was a, again just a regular draglet egg. A shame. Anyway, we have this now. Ah, here. The brine is coming in at minus 23.1. And that's of course because the water here is still very cold. Very, very cold. But yeah, we're filling this up now with 5,000 kilograms of brine. Let me see, this is getting warmer, so make sure that we put something there. And then we open up. For some reason I have to open this door, otherwise they say, uh, find this unreachable. And now it is reachable. In very interesting. Copper, build it. And then we have a, immediately a leak here. So we put this to auto. And we sweep this. Anyway, we have here now polluted water in the bottom tile and the top tile. So we can start closing this off. Igneous rock is okay. Let's do this. If we do this any earlier, then polluted oxygen will get trapped in a tile. And that's just going to be uh, very annoying. So I tend to do it like this. Can they get over there? They can. Okay, so now everything they built will connect to the water. Um, this is closed off, so what we can do here 
is add more tiles as a six there close this off and then we can start making more of those because this one is almost full and we are still 600 kilograms it's idle i don't know if it's gonna be over pressured or not no power wire connect still not yes it does oh wait 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 did i forget this are you kidding me i forgot a one wire there how's this this is connected it's a good thing i looked at that uh and here we can go up and over just fill all those once the power cable is in we will be able to pump when necessary okay this now is power perfect and let's close it off as well yeah this is getting super super low so we are nicely in time for that and once that one is in we can put another one in there All right, and then we can close this one off as well. And then we very rudimentary have captured the two other guys on the map. All right, that's now closed. And then we can also, well, you have to make sure that they don't go in there. So let's say this one I want to, this one I want to do very quickly. Just to make sure they don't run in here. Still disabled, here we go. There's the first polluted water coming in. Okay, nobody got stuck. Perfect, that's closed off. Let's make one more here. Insulated pipe, like that. So of course this water is gonna be super, super cold and it's gonna be polluted. Uh, this water is about 20, 18 to 20 degrees. So if we use this um, at minus 10 or even worse, these millwood plants will freeze. So we're going to change the layout of this um, piping a little bit. Uh, and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to cool down the bottom part of this base in a very, very rudimentary way. So we're going to add a couple of, I mean, I guess granite pipes. And let's say we do something like this. Come over, over here, down and back. Let's make a simple loop until there. And then we're going to hook that up later on once everything is done. Uh, also, it's going to be polluted water, uh, which also needs to be taken care of, of course. Uh, we're going to go through here, out, and then we have to come over here. And then we need to have a water sieve, of course, to clean it. Let's turn it around. And we have an in. Kind of go like this. And then we have an out, which can go like that. And then all we need to do is uh, change a couple other pipes i think you have to change a little bit to insulate because otherwise this is gonna radiate too much temperature at the top here because it's still gonna come in super super cold i guess what we also can already start doing is making some insulated pipes igneous rock is okay although we don't have that much of it but yeah let's move over and then down here and then also we can exchange these here i guess so again, how are the reproduction 94, 98? Come on, how much chance? 50, 50, come on, come on, Draco. Yes, finally we got our glossy Draculet egg. So let, how far is this one at incubating? Uh, let's just remove this. And then we're gonna add the glossy draglet egg in here. And of course it will be brought here, but uh, we're gonna have Frankie pick it up and bring it in here. 
I'm gonna also connect this so he should immediately hug the egg. I said. There we go. Alright. So now this should be 70% per cycle. Nice. Food is not fantastic, but it's managing to keep up. I guess these two farms are just enough to keep it running. Let's actually see. Do we have any? We have actually still food. So let's make sure to compost that. Because it gives the wrong view on how much food you have. A little bit of food poisoning in this. This is also close to being stale. Yeah, I guess the muck root that we got, um, we had too much muck root in here. But I think now we need more. So for the water, uh, it doesn't really matter if this runs out because we have how much? 546 kilograms of oxygen per tile in here. So that is quite a bit if you think that these can pump. 500 grams per second so this is a thousand seconds of pumping until one pump can pump everything out also we have 388 kilograms per tile of hydrogen in these tiles so we have saved up quite a bit over time um, so i'm not going to complain about that there's actually one more thing that i want to do and uh, let me build this as a seven i want to set up a place well, we can drop polluted ice and polluted water so we need for that an automatic dispenser of course and we need a bottle emptier so let's set those up we actually also have quite some oxygen here how much is this 222 kilograms of oxygen i think let me see there is an oxygen release machine a canister emptier so let's research this is just 20 of this so Devon will be uh, super quick with that uh, and then we can build one where we release the oxygen and this oxygen basically comes from the fact that these suits can break so this one is at 24 percent and if it has oxygen in it when it breaks then the oxygen ends up here at this docking station ah a glossy draglip egg look at it it's beautiful already at 19 percent so we got another dragwood that was super close oh this one no this one no did it already do it 85 I think it did and it probably just released a regular egg but is it already at that much then 48 12 tracker 10 yeah i guess it uh, it already laid an egg anyway we have our canister emptier which takes a bit of refined metal so let's make it uh, let's make it actually doesn't matter let's let's put it here right ventilation canister empty let's put it here because it will be either there or there so we're just gonna let this uh, run dry 500 kilograms not uh, not way too much to sweep uh here we can put the polluted water whoa polluted water not everything and then here in liquefiable we have the polluted ice yeah and then we can actually um clean that so that we put it there and then we can also move this polluted water away which has been there for a long, long time. So yeah, I'll be back once we run out of uh, water here. And then we make the swap to polluted water. So I'll be there. And it seems like we're at cycle 100. So happy birthday to us, I guess. 
turn of the century. Nice. So yeah, I'll be back when we uh, are running out of water yeah, and we need to make the swap. So I'll be back. Oh, well, in the meantime, this one is almost done. And we have actually two more glossy draglet eggs here. They take a while to incubate, but uh, once this is done, we will get the next one to be incubated here. I think I have to then also wrangle one of these. Let me see, this one is at 2%, so I can wrangle it and then it will move to here. Because we are getting a little bit full here. Especially with another egg, so if this hatches we are at 7 plus the egg is 8. Uh, so that is a little bit on the high side. Alright, there's our first draglet, glossy draglet. So let's put it in here. And I guess we can also put it here, but this is a lower... A lower priority. Get him out of there, Frankie. Are you, what are you doing? Eating? Are you playing with the uh, stone hatches again? There we go. Okay, he's out. Get the next glossy dragon deck. Is this the one that was already at 15%? Nice. So, we need to connect the conductive wire again so that Frankie can go here and there is somewhere coming to hug the egg. And that is 3.9 cycles. That was 3.7 not too long ago, right? Wow, that's going so fast. But yeah, as you can see, we are uh, collecting a couple of eggs here. Some of them are actually pretty far. And once they hatch, we can start shearing them. Let's see, we have 280 kilograms of water left. I think you can still not mop that up. Yeah, it's too much liquid. So that's not gonna work. So we have to wait a little bit longer. Oh, we have another fry egg, I see. Let's pick it up. And then we wait for this water to dry out. All right, using up this water is actually taking so long that uh, in the meantime, we've dug out a, quite a bit of uh, different terrain again. Um, yeah, this, this could take a couple more cycles. So I think at this point, wait, we have to connect this still. Uh, let's do that. Oh, what the heck is that? Um, sorry, like that. Um, yeah, so this is connected then. And then the only thing is uh, we need to swap out the lines. Go from regular water to uh, polluted water. And then we also have to hook up this water sieves to make sure that everything is complete. And then everything, because this is also getting a little bit warm here. Everything should be cooled. You can see the farm tiles are still being held nice and cool by the water from here. But yeah, once this water runs dry, it will uh, end there. So, but we're not there yet. Uh, we are still destroying the map as soon as possible. I, I guess next time we're just going to do more of these slime biomes. Try to destroy them. Maybe I'll take these two at the same time. And maybe I'll make something here for the carbon dioxide because it is getting a bit much. It's already up to here. And that is definitely not optimal because our duplicates have to hold their breath quite a bit. That is going to be it for this video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. See you in the next one.